Alright everybody, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, we're cracking back into the reaction. I've got three reactions to do, I've got the videos up on my screen, I've got the screen recorder going, I've got my notebook from Harrison Jolly, my man in Dunedin. He's only 400 kilometers south of me right now, right this very second, but well I'm not going anywhere and he's probably not going anywhere because the whole entire country is still in nationwide lockdown. We actually got told yesterday that, uh, you know, as of tomorrow, the country was meant to go from level 4 to level 3. We've been told it's going to be extended for another week. So as of next Monday, uh, we're going to be going, you know, back down to a level 3, which I think all that means is that, you know, everyone stays, still stays at home, still practices social isolating, social distancing, um, but certain businesses can operate once more. So that means the economy can start cranking back up again and everything can go back to normal as fast as possible, hopefully. Anyways, in more important news, we're here today to do some reactions for my man Harrison. He sent me, about two months ago, a fantastic package, which I'll never forget, and uh, I've, I've brought both items here with me. So we've got a Seahawks Wilson playing jersey, which is amazing. Absolutely love it. I've probably worn it about five times already. And we've got an AJ Green in size medium. Now what I will say is that medium was a little bit small. I'm not going to lie, it's, uh, it's quite fitting. So I'd say large. Moving forward, large would have to be my size. But thank you Harrison, I really appreciate it. Now, next task. I'm going to reread his letter that he sent me with those jerseys and then we're going to get into some reactions. So let's do that. Okay, yo man, absolutely love your channel and the NFL content as I am a huge fan and play rugby as well so I, f I find the videos very relatable. I'm a massive New York Giants fan so would love some Giants player vids. I suggest Eli Manning and Victor Cruz for some OG players and Daniel Jones and Darius Slayton for current players. No pressure though, just keep the vids up. They are amazing. Well, I have learned through the years to Appreciate compliments, but not let them get to your head. So I'm going to say, Harrison, thank you so much. I, I really do hope you've enjoyed the videos that have been coming out. I've not let a single day go by without one video come out on my channel, and that's how it's going to continue for at least the next two weeks. So, the three players I've decided to look at today are, in no particular order, Eli Manning, Victor Cruz, and Daniel Jones. Now, at first glance, those three names, only two of them mean anything to me whatsoever. One of them, absolutely nothing. So Eli Manning, obviously know that he's Peyton Manning's brother. He's won two Super Bowls. He's got two Super Bowl MVPs. He's retired this year. His replacement, Daniel Jones, got drafted as a rookie to the Giants this year. Played a few games. Pretty much throughout the season, I, I, I believe, or what I'm you know, led to believe, um, is that Daniel Jones was always going to be Eli Manning's replacement and by the end of the season that is basically what the general consensus was. Now I might be completely wrong, we're probably going to find out today, but that's all I know guys. Eli Manning, Daniel Jones, two quarterbacks, Victor Cruz, no idea. And the other player, uh, what have we got here? Darius Slayton. Darius Slayton. You know what? We're going to look up him too. Wide receiver. That's what I want to see. Darius Slayton. Okay guys. Great. All right. That is the intro clip done. I'm not going to need to do any intro clips for the for the coming vids. So today's video, we're going to start with none other than Eli Manning. An in-depth look, finally, at the brother of Peyton Manning. The guy who, honestly, I was laughing at because all I'd seen is his, you know, play this year. People were talking shit about him, saying he's too old. But then you've got the, the diehard Giants fans, okay? The, the, the diehard fans have been there throughout his whole entire career. I've come into this game two years ago. You know, this guy's been playing for 20 years. So it's, yeah, so it's always going to be a, a, a work in progress, building my knowledge base and becoming a fan. And that's what we're doing. So let's get into it. I swear I like your style. Put you in Chanel because it's just perfect for your smile. Girl, I swear for you, I run the world, I run the miles. The way you look at me, I think I'm going insane. Okay, so you type Eli Manning into YouTube, and this is what comes up. Really? 41 minutes ago? No, we're going to refresh that. This has been up on my screen for like two days. So we'll refresh that, and uh, let's have a look. 
Eli Manning Retirement Press Conference. Top 10 moments of Eli Manning's career. Eli Easy E Manning's clutch career highlights. Eli Manning reveals how, how retirement life is treating him. Fuck, these are all good vids, man. Stephen A and Max react to Eli Manning's retirement speech. Every single one of those videos I'd like to watch, but we're not going to be able to watch them all today. So, to, so today, we're doing one video, one video only, and we're going to go... <laughs> Fuck, what do I do? Top 10 moments of Eli Manning's career by the New York Giants. Eli Manning and Philip Rivers got drafted on the same day and got traded with each other? And they're both still playing? That's fucking nuts. Fuck, he looks a bit younger there. Manning over Takes the snap. Second year in the league. He went backwards about 20 yards. Oh, what a throw. What a throw. Came out the side of his hands. Absolutely perfect. Now, this is just a regular season game against the Broncos. But this is his 10th best moment in his second season. Uh, it looks as if they've got three seconds on the clock and they've probably slotted the field goal for the last minute win. Season, 2006. The Giants trailed the Philadelphia Eagles 24 to 7 in the fourth quarter before Eli Manning would lead a comeback surge. Manning takes the down, 23 to 6. And in overtime, Eli would march Big Blue on an 85 yard drive, culminating Big blue. <laughs> in his fantastic finish. Third and 11, drop side, flips on, heaves it up for Flax to go further. That is 14 years ago, guys. It's incredible to think. Giants and Green Bay Packers getting set for the NFC Championship game. The winner advances to Super Bowl 42 in Glendale, Arizona. They'll take the snap, looks right, throws right, looking for Burris, who makes the catch over the defender at the 35-yard line. He went hand-to-hand -hand with Al Harris, and he beat him. All right, here goes Tynes again. From 47 yards to kick the Giants to the Super Bowl. Snap is good. Kick on its way. And over it. Does it have the distance? It is good. And the New York Giants are going to Super Bowl 42. Okay. Overtime, they beat the Packers 23. Oh, get off the screen, would you? The New York Football Giants and the New England Patriots. In Here we Super Bowl go. 42. I'm loving how this is in chronological order. Two. Holy shit, who's that who's that guy that's um the guy with the teeth? 17 14 fellas. One touchdown, we are world champion. This is what every quarterback lives for. And he takes the snap. Back to throw. Oh! Boy, the rock, and he's gonna no. fight out of it. Still fights out of it. Now throws it deep down field. Tyree who makes the catch. Oh! Woo! On the helmet. Basketball player Harrison trying to knock it down. That's a great catch by David Tyree. That's not the helmet catch, is it? I've seen a helmet catch before. Giants versus Patriots, eh? From Rainy Candlestick Park in San Francisco. Okay, so here we are. Four years. Four years later, no, three years later, back at the NFC, NFC title game, I'm assuming this might be the year that they go to the Super Bowl again. 
But let's find out. NFC Championship game. Manny back to throw. He's under pressure again. Oh, the big hit! Get slammed. He's hit. Down he goes. The avalanche of defensive pressure. The sixth San Francisco sack. Manny back to throw. He zips one to the left of the end zone. Touchdown Giants. Holy shit! It's like a gazelle. Snap is low. Kick on its way. It's got the distance, and it is gone. And Lawrence Times has done it again. He's kicked the Giants. To the second Super Bowl in four years. Here we go. The New York Football Giants and the New England Patriots. Super Bowl 46. Manning out of the shotgun. Seth is back to throw. Finds the pocket. Deep ball down the left sideline, and it's going to be caught. Oh, the some of these catches. Him on the sideline. The officials say he got it. Absolute game of field. inches. Simply remarkable. For the next 50 years, you'll be watching highlights of that catch of the New York Giants come back and win this. Brady heaves one. Jump ball, and it's incomplete. And the ball game's over. And the Giants have won Super Bowl 46. And Eli Manning and the Giants have finished off the Patriots in the Super Bowl for the second Holy time shit, in man. four years. To come in the league, win two Super Bowls within, what, what's that, seven or eight years, at that point, 2012, he's at the top of his career. Everyone would have thought he is the absolute man, wouldn't they? They would have. And here I am, coming into the game 2018, thinking he's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to say about that. Here in the digital center is our highlight screening area. So that's where we get all the games uh, that are played that night. Down in a 90 second or two minute clips. Or <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So this is his TV appearances. And here we've got OBJ at the back for some reason. A part of me thinks that OBJ got given shit for that. And I can understand why. Man of the year. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the two NFL Walter Baden Men of the Year, Mr. Eli Manning and Mr. Larry Fitzgerald. It is an honor to share this award with you. He does look like a nice guy. He's going to come into the ball game to replace Eli Manning. Close it out. He gets a big hug and a standing ovation. I've seen this. I've seen this part. So many thrills for Giants fans. All the fourth quarter comebacks. And in a previous video, here I was watching this. You know, trying to make assumptions on his career, not having seen anything else, not having even known that he won Super Bowls, let alone got Super Bowl MVPs. Um, comeback king. You know, if it wasn't for Brady, this guy... No, he wouldn't be the GOAT. I'm just talking shit now. But anyways, guys, what a career. How can you condense... How can you condense a 16-year career into six minutes? Not very easily. Giants fans, Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Oh, sir, subscribe below. Okay, well, I guess I could. Um, yeah, why not? Let's subscribe. All right, that was Eli Manning and his top 10 moments of his career. I think we're gonna have to watch another one. We are going to have to watch uh, Michael Strahan. Okay, and there has been some, some debate whether. Uh, Eli Manning, obviously, now that he's he's retired, uh, whether he's going to be a first first round, a first ballot uh, Hall of Fame. Is that what they call it? First ballot? In the first year you're eligible, you're inducted. Um, anyways, guys, I hope he does. Actually, <clears throat> you know what? Nah, we're going to go Google. 
and then we're going to go by Manny, and then we're going to look him up. We'll get a few stats just to finish this one off. E e Elisha, El Elisha, 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 Nelson Manning. I did not know that. <gasps> The fourth, the former American football quarterback who played his entire 16-year career for the Giants. He played college football for the University of Mississippi from 2000 to 2003. He was drafted as the first overall pick in the 2004 NFL Draft by the Chargers and was immediately traded to the Giants, who return gave up a package highlighted by fourth overall selection Philip Rivers. Manning is the son of former NFL quarterback Archie Manning and the younger brother of former NFL quarterback Peyton Manning, 6'5", 39 years old as of today, about 100 kilos. Think about a guy that's six foot five. you see him in a crowd of people, he towers over everybody, but when you see it, you know, in a team of American football players, he just simply doesn't. The size is on another level. The size mixed with the ability to move at speed, with power, with agility, it's just on another level. Um, what have we got here? Two Super Bowl champion, two Super Bowl MVP, four Pro Bowls, the last one being in 2015. He won the Man of the Year combined with uh, Larry Fitzgerald in 2016. He has a fair few other awards. He's got, in total, 57,023 passing yards. Let's see how many, let, let's see where he stands on passing yards. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see his career. He played nine games his first year. 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 15, 16, and four. It looks as if, apart from his first season, he started every single game. We're gonna go um, NFL quarterbacks passing records. Oh shit, okay. Interesting. So he had 57,000. The top, Tom Brady, 85,000. Drew Brees, 82. Peyton Manning, his brother, 79. Let's have a look where he stands. Eli Manning, 7th on the list. The New York Giants, 04 to, to 19. 57,023 passing yards. Ben Roethlisberger is almost about to pass him. And then you've got a, a, a pretty big chunk, 5,000 yards, down to number 9, John Elway. He's obviously gone. Matt Ryan, another one in reach at 51,186. And the list goes on and on and on. All right, guys, so that was my look. That was my look at Eli Manning. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. I know a little bit more about him. I know that he should be in the NFL Hall of Fame. Will he? Well, I think he probably will. I mean, there's, yeah, there's really no way around it. Um, you know, if he's not in that first ballot, you've got to look at what players are in there above a guy like Eli Manning. I guess what you've got to look at is, okay, five years after his retirement, 2024, he's eligible. Who else is eligible? And who, you know, who else that is eligible are you going to put above a guy like Eli Manning? I mean, there's guys that have been waiting for years and years and years and years, decades, to be inducted. And they're still waiting Year on year on year. I mean, did you see that guy? He's in tears. He's like, why the fuck have I not been inducted to the Hall of Fame? They keep doing this year after year after year. Is it, like, is it, is it a lucky dip? I mean, do you get nominated and then only five of, of 20 nominated players get actually inducted or something? Do, are, are, they, are they dangling the carrot in front of this guy's face year after year? Because I feel for him. I really do. But anyways, guys, that is enough of that. I want to wish you guys a fantastic day. I've talked way too much. I'm going to talk a hell of a lot less in the next video. And in the next video, we're looking at Eli Manning's replacement, Daniel Jones. So I'll see you then. Peace out.